So hi, uh, today I would like to solve you a salient pole generator example. Uh, unfortunately, I have to left my equipment at the office, so I will uh, record it without uh, camera. And also sorry for the sound quality if it is bad. Anyway, so here we have a three-phase Y-connected salient pole generator. It is connected to 690 volts line-to-line uh, -line grid, you know, which makes our uh, phase voltage is around uh, 400 volts and our XD is uh, 10 ohms and XQ is uh, 6.5 ohms. As we have see here, you know, it's different in uh, salient pole generators. So it is, uh, the XD is larger. If it were a, a cylindrical uh, machine, uh, that will be equal. So that wouldn't create any uh, reluctance talk. We will also only have the synchronous torque. Anyway, so here we have the armature current as uh, 10 amps with 20 degrees lagging. And here I, I put the uh, cosine and sine of uh, 20 degrees. We, would, we need to find the load angle, DQ components of IA and magnitude of EF. So let's start uh, again by uh, drawing our you know, phaser. Uh, so let's draw the VT first again. This is connected to grid and this is uh, 400 volts and let me uh, draw the current. This is my IA and let's say this is our theta which is given here and again you know we don't know and today uh, I would like to show you that one. Actually we don't know the load angle we have to find it but since we don't know the load angle we cannot directly uh, calculate the id and iq components of uh, of the current so this will be iq component will be uh, in phase with ef remember this is our ef right and we will have the id components here okay so maybe it will be slightly larger so if i just Right, that one, so this will be J, so it will be multiplied with the XD, okay, ID component, then I will have that one, which will be multiplied by XQ and IQ. And I need to calculate all these uh, components. So let's try to, you know, write our equations for that. So what I know is if you look at that direction here so that one is equal to vt sine delta so i can write uh, v, vt sine delta okay that is equal to iq xq okay i know that one and actually i can write you know, that distance over here that distance is uh, vt cos delta and i can write vt cos delta is equal to magnitude of ef this is all magnitude wise minus uh, xd i d right so i know these two equations and what i know i can also write here you know the relations between iq id and that distance is important for us so i can write ia times cos theta okay so let me draw here the larger version of the current so you can see so this is our horizontal line so this is my ia this is theta right and uh, this is my uh, iq and it will be vertical with that one so this will be i d right so if you just put it there you know you can calculate let me use different colors so the green one i don't know another maybe red one here right so i can write uh, these two terms as uh, IA cos 
theta let me write it first then i will show it in the graph iq cos delta plus id sine delta so in other words i can write ia okay cos delta so it is the green plus the red area and that one is equal to this is the you know green area so let me put it the color code it so this will be the green part over there and the other one is actually the red area so you know you can again use the trigonometry so if this is 90 degrees this is 90 minus delta and that part is delta so that you know you can use the same trick to find that equation anyway so from here uh, what you can write or again you know you, you can do it like in terms so you can also write like iq is equal ia you know cos theta plus delta so again you know in terms of uh, if you want to find iq so you can write the these two equations and that one is equal to the other one so anyway so let's you use uh, that equation and let's try to write that one white vt sine delta is equal to okay uh, ia i mean if, if we use that equation instead of uh, cosine a r to b i can write cos a times cos b minus uh, sine b sine a times uh, sine b so i will use uh, that equation so i'm writing ia uh, xq times so from here cos delta by the way you can still get the same thing same thing from the first equation anyway okay so let's put those numbers sine delta i don't know i know the magnitude of ia which is 10 i know the magnitude of xq 6.5 uh, i don't know cos delta but i know uh, cos uh, theta it is given as 0 0.94 20 degrees 0 0.94 minus sine delta times 0 0.342 uh, sine 20 degrees okay so let's uh, put those numbers in 400 times sine delta is equal to uh, 6 point, 6 to 1 .1 times cosine delta actually i strongly advise you to you know make those equations uh, yourself uh, just to have some practice okay sine delta and you can get you know that one up to here 422.23 sine delta is equal to 6.1.1 cos delta and sine delta over cos delta which is equal to tangent delta it is 61.1 divided by 422.23 or 23 so if you once you have that equation you can quickly calculate uh, delta is equal to 8.23 degrees right so you know you can find that equation and actually you could find the same one uh, from the figure above so let's uh, once you have that one once you have delta is uh, 8.23 angle so the other one were easier and i would like to find the id and iq components so i can write iq is equal to b times uh, sine delta divided by xq remember from i'm using that equation that's b so if you put everything in let me write it so 400 times sine 8.23 degrees divided by 6.5 uh, 
and you can find it like 8.8 .8 amps here okay and actually since id and iq are you know orthogonal to each other you can uh, calculate id from the uh, hypotenuse uh, so i know the 10 amp as the ia so but let's use it as a second check so let's uh, try to find the uh, other one and actually actually i just wrote you know that equation as well so that one also be used again that one is easier but i would like to uh, just get you familiar uh, with the trigonometric calculations here so just one method is enough so ia times cos you know, theta plus delta as we have seen here not that one sorry that one okay so if you use that equation then you can directly write 10 times cosine uh, 20 plus 8.23 degrees and that is also 8.8 .8 amps okay and secondly i can reuse the other equation so uh, i can write the id okay that one i can now let me use the round so id sine delta okay plus iq cos delta is equal ia cos theta okay so here the only unknown is id let's uh, get id in terms of the other ones ia uh, cos theta minus iq cos delta divided by sine delta okay and if you calculate it it is 4.73 amps and again i know just to you know double check ia magnitude wise because they are orthogonal to each other it's equal to id square plus uh, iq square square root and you can calculate 8.8 .8 .8 square plus 4.73 square and you can find it is 10 amps and it is you know double check okay and part c we will find the magnitude of ef right so how can we write the magnitude of ef again if we just uh, come back to here so it will be you know vt vt cosine uh, delta that blue area here that area then i don't i need to add it up with the xd id that uh, use it so that green area uh, red area okay so i can write ef magnitude is equal to vt cos delta plus id times xd so 400 times cosine uh, 8.23 plus 400 uh, 4.73 times 10 10 is the xd and you can find that one as 443 volts okay so you need to adjust your field current such that the EF magnitude is uh, 443 volts okay and if your uh, load uh, not load angle is in this case uh, what was it 8.23 degrees and EF is ahead of VT again uh, now it is working as a generator mode okay then our power factor current power factor is you know 20 degrees and it all you know satisfies those rules and you know as a practice you know i suggest you to uh, try to find the torque components on in this equation uh, let's try to you know i leave it as an exercise for you uh, uh, please find uh, the torque components coming from the synchronous torque and reluctance torque as well.
Okay. Thank you.